Uh, you guys, I am in my 40s. I'm married. I have two kids. Nothing, however, nothing makes me feel older than when I realize I no longer understand uh, the slang terms that teenagers use. Uh, it seems like these days, uh, teen slang terms evolve so fast, they change so often that it's impossible to keep up. So we decided as a primer, uh, as a, a service to both you and, uh, and to me, uh, we're going to do a new segment for you called Seth Explains Teen Slang. All right, our first new teen slang term is HBO Go Ho. It means one who sleeps with someone just for their HBO account. Here it is in a sentence. Really want to end it with Jenna, but there are still three weeks till that Game of Thrones finale. I'm a total HBO Go Ho. Up next, it's Mueller Report, because uh, teens love to, you know, come up. They like to get their slang from the news. Mueller Report, here's the definition. When you get so drunk, your memories are redacted. For example, Ian said I hooked up with Kristen's mom last night, but after all those tequila shots, I went full Mueller Report and blacked out the good stuff. <laughs> next up... Next up, we have Easter. This is when a kid you thought was dead just shows up at school one day. Here it is in a sentence. We thought Brendan was a goner after he black backflipped into that open manhole, but then he pulled a full Easter and showed up in school three days later asking, is there a math quiz? <laughs> Hashtag he is risen. Uh, moving on, you've heard of cokeheads, a very popular slang term in the 80s, but this, this new slang term is wokehead. Uh, what does it mean? Well, this is one who is addicted to being culturally aware. For example, Jeff, Nicholas, and Connor are such wokeheads, they keep getting up to go to the bathroom together every 15 minutes to talk about social injustice and always come back woked out of their minds. <laughs> this, one's, uh, this one's really blowing up with the teens. It's botch slap. This is, uh, this is when you really mess up a bitch slap. As in, I tried to smack Tyler, but ended up just sort of running my fingers through his hair. Hashtag botch slap. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Next up, we have Lannisters. That is, uh, this is that brother and sister who are just a little too close. For example, Jason said he can't come to Clarissa's party because he and his sister are watching The Notebook. What up with those Lannisters? <laughs> uh, next up, you've probably heard of the slang term wake and bake. Uh, this is bake and wake. Uh, here's the definition. When you get stoned before you go to a wake. <laughs> Here it is in a sentence. Tim, I know this is crazy, but I swear I just saw Nana blink. Oh, man. I should never have bacon waked. <laughs> Our, uh... Next uh, slang term is almond milk. It's a new boyfriend who's better for you, but much more boring. <laughs> Here it is in a sentence. Scott is definitely nicer than my ex, but after he spent two hours at dinner last night talking about his pool filtration system, I'm thinking that boy's nothing but almond milk. <laughs> and finally, our last teen slang term is bloke up. Here's the definition to get high with the British kid. Let's see it in a sentence. The new exchange student, Archibald Perryweather III. We wanted to make sure you knew he was British. The new exchange student, Archibald Perryweather III, told me he was holding, so we nipped around to the loo and bloked up before maths. This has been Seth Explains Teen Slang.